Hey everyone, this is Nate Starr with Bright Agritech and today we're going to do a walkthrough of the farm here at Bright Agritech. We're just going to show you some of the stuff we've got going on here in the early spring. We're still about a month out before we stop getting snow, but things have melted off for a little bit and it's a pretty nice day, so we're just going to walk around and show you what we're doing. So this is our outdoor stuff. We're still about a month out on this. Uh, we're gonna till all this under here in about two or three weeks and start planting first week of June most likely with the exception of our potatoes. We're gonna put those in um, a little bit sooner. So um, we do all drip irrigation out here as you can see and looks like Noah's got his chickens out in the hop yard right now. They're kind of just grazing out there eating down some of the weeds that, that come up fast in the spring. Um, so that's kind of fun. It's the first time we've had chickens out here doing weed control for us at Bright Agrotech. So that's, that's kind of a kick. Alright, so uh, this is the inside of our high tunnel here. And uh, you can see we've got some of our early stuff planted. And uh, we're irrigating this a little bit now. We've got um, some joy choy and some uh, mustard greens. And some uh, Tuscan style kale down there. And we've got some chard over here got onions that just went in. We'll continue to plant onions and get uh, more stuff planted up and down these rows in the coming weeks. Um, on this side over here we've got um, a little hop, hops aquaponic system that Noah put in. So Noah's always doing aquaponic hops over the course of the summer. This summer he's going to be doing them here in the high tunnel. So um, what, what he does for that is he just sets up a, real, a seasonal aquaponic system uh, during the summer. It's a great option for folks in cold climates who uh, don't really have the opportunity to run a year-round system. So when, when you've got some experience under your belt and you're really comfortable with it, you'll find that you can go out and set up a great, functional, awesome aquaponic system in a couple of hours and start it running every spring and take it down every fall. It works out pretty nicely. So the greenhouse is pretty busy right now. We've got a lot of stuff going on in here, but um, you know we're kind of getting ready for all of our spring planting outside so you see we've got a lot of our uh, seedlings a lot of our uh, plants that we're going to be transplanting outside and our outdoor stuff going at the moment in addition to all of the stuff that we're we're planting here in the greenhouse so right now we've got a lot of uh, kind of our winter stuff that's kind of drawing to a close and a lot of our spring and summer stuff is starting to take off got a lot of chard our basil has just started cranking here, you know, it's at 12 hour uh, threshold. We just, we just recently crossed, so we're getting 12 hours of light now. So our basil is really starting to get after it, which is awesome. And uh, we've got some, some interesting crops. We're playing with the Amish deer tongue lettuce in here, and the guys planted this stuff, oh, three or four weeks ago, and it's looking really good. Um, so that's a really kind of a fun, fun plant to plant to grow we're having really good luck with it but by and large everything's just cranking away we started rolling up the sidewalls during the day to keep it cool in here um, but you know everything's looking really good in here Noah's been doing a great job and and everything is in really good shape well thanks for tagging along today and uh, just checking out what we're doing this spring there's gonna be more of these as we get into the summer and uh, if you enjoy these videos uh, make sure you subscribe and also check out our vertical food blog. We're sharing all sorts of great tips on gardening, growing, aquaponic systems, you name it, um, over there as well.